हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एग्रीवर्क इंजीनियरिंग ऑनलाइन तो दिस इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट 2017 क्वेश्चन नंबर 49 दिस इज अबाउट काउंटर करंट ट्यूब इन ट्यूब हीट एक्सचेंजर वेयर द हॉट वाटर इज एंटरिंग एट 95 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड कोल्ड वाटर इज एंटरिंग एट 25 डिग्री सेल्सियस द स्पेसिफिक कैपेसिटीज ऑफ हॉट वाटर एंड कोल्ड वाटर इज 4.2 किलो जूल पर केजी पर केल्विन टू रेट्स ऑफ हॉट एंड कोल्ड वाटर आर गिवन 2.7 एंड 4.1 केजी पर मिनट Our heat transfer coefficient uh, is 55 watt per meter square per kelvin, and the area of heat transfer is given 5 square meter. So it is asked to find out the cold water outlet temperature from the heat exchanger. So let us quickly go to the solution part. So in counter current heat exchanger, heat exchanger the hot water inlet temperature is given. There is 95 degrees Celsius PHI hot inlet temperature, uh, and uh, let us see. Let us say. The hot outlet temperature is uh, not known in this case. And similarly, the uh, cold uh, inlet temperature there is uh, 25 degrees Celsius, and the cold outlet temperature is to be find out in this question. So, the overall heat transfer coefficient is given 55 watt per meter square per kelvin. So, you know that uh, watt is equal to joule per second. So let us quickly uh, convert it into all other units are given in kilojoule per kg per hour or whatever like that minute actually. Uh, so it is not even. So therefore you have to convert it into same unit. To convert it same into let us see its uh, kg per hour uh, in the case of mass flow rate and uh, uh, the overheat transfer coefficient also make it into uh, into kilojoule per hour. So to make it kilojoule per hour, so since joule per second is given to make it kilojoule per hour, you have to multiply through. 3600 and divide 1000. So therefore, that is 3.6. 55 into 3.6 kilojoule per hour for square meter per kel, uh, per kelvin is the over heat uh, transfer coefficient. Uh, so now the area of uh, heat uh, uh, transfer that is given that is 5 square meter. The mass flow rate of uh, cold water is given that is 4.1 kg per minute. Since uh, you have to convert it into per hour, so to multiply by 60, that is 4.1 into 60. Is kg per hour is the mass flow rate for the cold water. Similarly, the hot water mass flow rate is given 2.7 kg per minute to convert it into kg per uh, hour to multiply by uh, 60, 2.7 into 60 kg per hour. So, the heat specific heat capacity for the hot water is equal to cold water is given that is 4.2 kJ per kg per Kelvin. So, the units are almost uniform and uh, the heat capacity for the cold water that uh, multiplied uh, by the specific heat capacity into the mass flow rate. Uh, and uh, if you multiply and uh, for the hot water uh, heat capacity will be equal to the mass flow rate of hot water into a specific heat capacity of hot water. So in this case the uh, heat capacity for cold water is greater than heat capacity of the uh, hot water. Therefore the uh, heat capacity for the cold water is maximum that is C mix and the uh, heat capacity of the hot water is minimum in this case. So in the with this boundary condition. So you can say that is uh, uh, the temperature of uh, uh, inlet uh, uh, cold water inlet temperature should be equal to the hot water uh, inlet uh, hot water outlet temperature. Since the hot water is less uh, mass flow rate and cold water is mi maximum, therefore the if the uh, hot water uh, most of the uh, heat is removed. Therefore the inlet temperature of the cold water should be equal to outlet temperature of the hot water. This is the boundary condition, this is the important part of this uh, soli uh, actual question to how to solve. So the next you have to find out the uh, NTU that is number of transfer unit you can say that is uh, overall heat transfer coefficient U into area divided by C minimum that is the minimum heat capacity in this case. So that is 55 into 3.6 is the uh, overall heat transfer coefficient into 5 is the area divided by 4.2 into 2.7 into 60 is the C minimum or the minimum heat capacity. So by uh, putting these values together, so you can calculate the NT is equal to 1.454. Now next is the uh, ratio between the uh, maximum heat capacity and the minimum heat capacity. So in this case R, uh, because this is the counter current heat exchanger, so the R should be equal to C min by C max already uh, we calculated CC divided by uh, C minimum by C max. So putting the values together, there is 4.2 into 2.7 into 60 is the 
maximum minimum and uh, maximum maximum is 4.2 into 4.1 into 60 by putting together so you can calculate the r or uh, ratio of the heat capacity will be equal to 0.66 now putting the formula for the uh, effectiveness of the heat exchanger that is counter current heat exchanger in this case this is the formula for the uh, effectiveness or the in the effectiveness is called the uh, uh, maximum heat actually transport divided by the maximum possible heat transport uh, can could be could have been transport therefore in this case putting uh, in the in this empirical formula uh, the values for the NTU and the R uh, that is the uh, heat capacity ratio together and uh, uh, solving this so you can calculate the effectiveness is 0 0.652 in fraction which is equal to 65.2 percent to the efficiency you can say efficiency or effectiveness of the uh, um, uh, counter current heat exchanger so also you know that uh, the uh, heat exchanger actual heat transport divided by actual uh, maximum heat could have been transport so now uh, also we calculate even we know that the mass flow rate so mass flow rate uh, 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 there is the heat capacity for the uh, hot, uh, cold water uh, will be equal to the capacity into the temperature difference between the inlet and outlet so this is the outlet is the maximum uh, because it is gaining the heat TCO minus TCI is the inlet temperature divided by the heat capacity of the hot water and uh, the temperature difference between the inlet and outlet THI minus TCI uh, THO actually but uh, actually already we know that TCI is equal to THO so well, directly I put that TCI in case of THO actually or, uh, or uh, hot water outlet will be equal to cold water inlet temperature therefore putting the values together in this case everything is known because TCI is equal to 25 degrees Celsius and uh, T uh, CO uh, you have to calculate and T uh, C, HI is already known that is 95 degrees Celsius so uh, it is not uh, needed to calculate uh, the temperature into the Kelvin scale because uh, this is the difference between the temperature uh, to the uh, temperature uh, Kelvin and uh, degree centigrade will be same therefore putting the values together so we can calculate the uh, cold water uh, outlet temperature directly that is uh, 0 0.652 is equal to uh, the effectiveness putting the values and PCO is the only uh, parameter you have to find out from this equation so therefore you can calculate the cold water outlet temperature will be equal to 55.06 degree Celsius so this is the answer for this question so hope you understand and uh, uh, find the uh, information uh, very handy so please like and subscribe to my channel